Hello, my fair maiden, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, sunny and socials, my prediction for the Virgos, the virgins of the zodiac, that's because the moon has now moved into Cancer. And when the moon's in Cancer, Virgos are particularly emotional and sensitive to their society. Now, by society, it is really your sphere of influence, frankly. So that's your friends, your top friends on MySpace, the people that you have fun with, friends, it's another word for friends, and also your reputation in society. So you're emotionally sensitive in your field or what you do out there. This is an excellent time to invest in your constituents and also realize you're more sensitive than usual to public opinion. So if you hear a bad rumor about you, try to let it just flow across your chest and not allow it to hurt you. Now, zipping around the Zodiac, it's all about marriages and relationships. Probably the hottest topic that Virgos write me about day after day is when am I going to get the marriage? When am I going to get my relationship? Well, this is the time that we are creating. In fact, today Venus is ruling the day, Virgo, which means the creation vibration is on our shoulder. This is an excellent time to do one of two things. Now, we're in Chapter 2 of Sun and Pisces, so we're still in the experimental stage. Don't get over, don't overanalyze it and shut yourself out of the, of the potential. You can do one of two things, like I said. One is... You can heal today. Use Venus to heal from a past relationship. If you still have a lot of resentment or anger or wounds from someone that mistreated you from the past, you don't want that hanging on your vibration because all you're going to do is draw in another person just like it. So use the Venus vibration and just heal yourself, okay? And what you do is you visualize yourself not hurting anymore. You visualize yourself walking around just fine. You just love yourself where they didn't, and that's how that healing will ensue. Or if you are ready to go out there and conquer the world with relationships, this is an excellent day to take some creative steps toward getting the relationship you want. And that can be as simple as go ahead and giving yourself a makeover so you feel really uh, sharp, or maybe simply walking over to that person you've been attracted to forever and saying hi. All right? One last thing. You might want to invest in your lifestyle as well. Remember, Virgo's fortune this year comes all from changing their lifestyle. Remember, success is not a goal. It is a lifestyle. So Jupiter and Mars are both saying if you act to make a change in your lifestyle in the next few days, you will see reward. That can be as simple as changing your sleep regimen. It can be you changing your diet. It can be you changing where you live because where you live is too noisy. You need more peace. But go ahead and make that change and see fortune come. By the way, for those of you with Virgo risings, the same thing applies. Even though you're, not, even though you're focused on something else in the foreground by your other horoscope, in the background, you too want to change your lifestyle over the course of 2009. All right, Virgo, that's all I got for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So God. Done.